Hey everyone, Saksham here back again with another video and in this video we are going to talk about the latest release of Kali Linux 2022. So now I'm really excited to show you the complete demonstration on how you can install the Kali Linux 2022 inside your operating system of Windows or maybe Mac OS whatever you are using. So we are going to go with the complete demonstration about the installation of Kali Linux 2022 in this video and also we are going to talk about that what are the latest technologies and latest tool that Kali has got for us in this latest version. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, you need to go ahead on to the Google and you just need to go for the official website of Kali. Uh, that's what I recommend uh, if the people are actually downloading uh, the latest version of Kali. So here you're gonna have to move on to this button which says download and here you can choose your platform. So let's talk about the latest things that Kali has shown up. Uh, so you can see that this is the bare metal technology. This is what I recommend. If you really want to know that what exactly the bare metal technology is, feel free to comment in to the comment section and I'll make a complete video on what is the difference between bare metal technology and cloud technology. Why Kali.org is hosting its ISO on bare metal technology, which is one of the finest technology for the virtualization. But we are seeing a great growth of cloud as well. So why they have chosen this option? Why bare metal technology is standing out even if the cloud technology is there? So you can just request a video for this and we are going to come up with a new video saying bare metal versus cloud. So if you really require that video, I would like to see your uh, feedback into the comment section. So here are the different versions of Kali you can say and this is the bare metal technology, uh, the ISO that I recommend. Then you can also make the inbuilt virtual machines ARM mobile functionalities, if you wish to deploy the whole ISO on cloud, then you have that version as well. You have containers, live boot as well. Live boot is again uh, something that I don't recommend because as soon as you will unplug your uh, USB, then all the changes will be gone and you will see a fresh system again. And then you have this uh, WSL that is Windows subsystem for Linux. So the best version is the bare metal technology. So you're gonna have to click here and you can see that there are different different versions here again. So I would like to recommend you for the 64 bit version. If you are having the RAM less than two GB, then I would like to recommend you the 32 bit uh, system. But uh, since you know, you must be having the RAM above than two GB, then I would like to recommend you for the 64 GB. You simply need to click here and you will uh, install the complete offline installation with customization. So this is the latest version of Kali 2022.0 that you need to install into your system in order to see something new that they have got up and trust me those updates are really the exciting ones but we are going to talk about it side by side when there will be the installation going on into our virtual box so i would like to go for the virtual box in this video and in order to save our time i have already downloaded the iso of kali linux 2022.2 so let's go ahead and install the kali 2022.2 so in order to install the Kali 2022.2 into the VirtualBox Manager, you simply need to click on New. And here you are going to name it uh, Kali Linux. By the way, if you have missed out my video of yesterday, I have shown you that how you can uh, see the 64-bit operating system in case if you are not able to see the 64-bit over here. So here you need to select the type that is Linux. And into the Linux, we see that it's a Debian 64-bit architecture. So you need to select 64-bit Debian architecture. And then you gotta have to click on next. So now the memory allocation is like minimum two GB should be there, but more than two GB will help you to run this OS very smoothly. I'm going to click on next. And here you can see three options which says do not add a virtual hard disk. You can also import the virtual hard disk uh, directly from here by choosing this option. But right now we are installing it from scratch with ISO. So I'm going to choose the option that is create a virtual hard disk now. I'm going to click on create and VDI. These are the different different formats in which you'll get the output after this ISO will be burnt in as the virtual image. So I'm going to go with the option of VDI virtual box disk image. And you also have other options for the virtual machine disk and virtual hard disk as well. But I recommend VDI and you're going to click on next. And then you have the other option as fixed size. So I don't recommend the fixed size because if you will be installing a lot of tools and softwares, then it will end up getting suffocated into the storage. So I would like to recommend you for the dynamically allocated. 
you are going to click on next then. So now 8 GB is not recommended. Again, it will suffocate your hard disk. So I recommend going it uh, till 21 GB is enough. But in order to take something extra, I'm going to put it as 26.67 GB. I'm going to click on create and you can see that my architecture is now defined. Now the next step is that I'm going to import my ISO. So I'm going to start my uh, virtual disk image right here but now we know that it's all empty so what next we are going to do is that we are going to import our iso right here so i'm going to add a new iso in here and it must be here into my download here it is carlinux 2022.2 and go ahead and open it and then click on just select it once again and just click on choose so like this i have given the path from where it will burn my iso with virtual disk image and i'm going to click on start so there are a few options in here like graphical install, installation, the complete installation, the advanced options, install with speech synthesis, and accessible dark contrast installer menu. So we are going to go with the simple graphical install since we want the GUI as well. So I'm going to hit enter over here and you can see that it has started its installation part. So it will take few seconds and yes, it's ready. Now it is asking us for our language that is English in this case. I'm going to click on continue. The country I'm going to select is India. I'm going to click on continue again. And the configuration keyboard, I'm going to go with American English. Uh, you can choose it according to your native language. You're gonna click on continue. And then it is detecting and mounting the installation media, which will take a while to install again and it is loading some additional components in here. Since I have a PC with amazing configuration, so it won't take much longer even while recording this video. So it is detecting the network hardware. And as you can see that it is completed. So now I'm going to give Kali as my default host name. I'm going to click on continue again. I'm going to leave this uh, as a blank. I'm going to click on continue. And the full name for the user is going to be Saksham. And I'm going to, to click on continue and the username is going to be Saksham as well. So I'm going to click on continue. I'm going to give a heavy password right here so that uh, I could stay safe. And one more advice, don't give your burnt in ISOs to other people. They might get your sessions if you have suppose logged into your Gmail uh, inside your virtual machine. Uh, so if they'll be taking your ISO, they'll be taking your Gmail session as well. So don't share this ISO with any of your friend or any of your batchmate or any of your student or any of your corporate colleague, you can say. So let's click on continue. And then it is configuring the clock. And it is setting up the clock. And here you can see that there are a lot of options related to partition disk. So I'm going to go with use entire disk that is not going to do any of the problem in here. So I'm going to hit on continue again. Uh, I only have one option in here to select. So I'm going to go with continue again and all files in one partition recommended for new users continue again, finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Yes. Hit continue again and write changes to disk pretty much. Yes. And I'm going to hit continue again. And then you can see that it is installing the base system. Okay, so now you have a lot of software selection list, but uh, we don't really care about it much because anyhow, we are going to update and upgrade our Car Linux machine. So let's hit continue over here. And again, it is installing few more software that are mandatory. Till the time the softwares are getting installed, let's quickly discuss that what are the new tools that are introduced in Kali 2022. So in Kali 2022, we can see that you have a uh, brute shark uh, that is a network forensics tool. As far I remember, evil WinRM is also there. That is a shell over WinRM for pen testing on Windows system. You also have hack crawler, which will allow you to crawl website and discover the possible weak points that you can exploit later on. You also have HTTP related tool, which is a complete HTTP toolkit. You also have labs dumpster. Now this is interesting, a tool to dump labs password. You also have PHP exploit uh, that can be used to remote control framework for shell connections over HTTP. I also remember that they have also introduced the PE dump that will allow you to dump the Windows 32 executable files, uh, which is not yet much useful, but yes, they have also introduced this. And they have also introduced the Sentry Peer, which is the distributed list of 
IP addresses and phone numbers. So that could be really uh, helpful for the network discovery. You also have Sparrow Wi-Fi. So this is interesting again. So finally, they are here with a new graphical tool to analyze the Wi-Fi network. And they also have Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3, which can be used to attack the access points. So these are the new tools that they have introduced in here. Apart from this, uh, they have also introduced the dramatic uh, screensaver like the Hollywood movies, uh, like the people do the hacking into the Hollywood movies. So you can also check out the uh, screensavers, the dramatic uh, screensavers that Kali 2022 has for us. So these were the new tools that are introduced in Kali 2022. I guess we still have some bar left. So I'll fast forward the movie from here. Okay, so again, it is asking us for a few more information. Do you want to install the Grub Bootloader onto your primary device? Click yes, because Grub Bootloader is really important out there. And here you're gonna have to choose the second option because this is the hard disk that we have made while installing it. And to the starting, we have selected to manually uh, make a hard disk, right? So this is that hard disk now that is showing up you right here. So you're gonna have to install the Grub Bootloader exactly into the same hard disk that is coming up into the seven, second option. So you're gonna click on continue once again. And you can see that it is now finishing the installation. We are on a verge to complete the installation and I'll be very happy if I'll be able to complete the installation in a one go. But if you are not able to complete the installation in a one go, please don't get depressed. Uh, maybe you wanna have to install a new ISO, just download a new ISO. And if still, if that doesn't work, try to get a new ISO and then install it smoothly. Sometimes if you have a low configuration PC, you will face that the screen is getting blank. I still remember when I had a low configuration PC, the screen used to get blank for like half an hour, but don't lose your patience. Even if it get blanks for even for a half an hour or maybe one an hour, let it stay blank. It will get all right. Just trust me from the experience, it will get all right. All right, so finally we are seeing a happy screen over here that says finish the installation. Okay, so I'm going to click on continue and then it will reboot my OS and hopefully we will be all ready to get started with the latest Kali 2022.2. So this is how the Kali 2022.2 is looking here. So I'm gonna go with simple Kali, new, and then let's see what do we have in here. Okay, so like always, they have got another very amazing wallpaper in here. So I'm going to put my username in here and my password. And you can see we are right inside the Kali machine. So the tools that I've introduced you, you can explore them under this section. You have a lot of tools in here. So this was a quick installation video about how you can install the Kali Linux in the virtualization mode, whether you are using Windows operating system or whether you are using Mac OS operating system, you can go ahead and install uh, Kali 2022.2. And in case if you are already using older versions of Kali, then it's the high time that you hit apt get update and upgrade command uh, so that you can jump onto the latest version of Kali as well. So that was a quick installation video. That's it for today's video. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. And that is also going to be related to the cybersecurity. But that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. And don't forget to hit subscribe and press the bell icon button to get such informative videos on your notification bar. So that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video.